right here? I don't know. Let me look at me. Well, that's the lower one. So let me bring this one down maybe a little. I said, don't fix Way it. Out? Yeah, okay. Let me look at me. Huh. This one's got to go up higher. I don't know if it will. Okay. That looks better. Okay. We're on, I guess. Are we on? Or not? Yes, you're on. Okay. Oh, we're well, on. Welcome. <laughs> uh, what do I say? My name is Christopher Hopkins. I am known as the makeover guy. And I am Joanne Hopkins, known as the wardrobe woman. And together we are Christopher and his mother. Correct. That's what we are, I guess. And today we're going to talk about a few things, but we're in the midst of talking about teeth, but you don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about teeth. Yes. Okay. Well, so it's just been a lot of stuff your yeah, week. Yeah, week. kind of a lot, but the week before it was fun because I went to the lake. Okay. I'm just going to pick on me. I, well, I, don't, I know that'll bug you, Mom. Yeah, it will. So I went to the lake. Uh, my sister and Husband and niece and husband have this beautiful lake home uh, on Leech Where? Lake. On Leech Lake, and it's it's really a beautiful home. It's not a lake cabin by any means. Anyway, she arranged that weekend, hoping that my sister did, hoping that her siblings could show up. Well, I'm the only sibling that showed up. My brother is going through chemo, and uh, my other sister couldn't make it. The other so one's dead. And the other one's gone. So it was me. Well, that's good. And we good. had a nice time. The first day was kind of icky, but the next day, the day we went home, which was Monday, it was gorgeous. I didn't want to leave. It was just beautiful all the way around. That's why you didn't respond. I was sending you stuff to respond for next week because I thought we had a makeover next week, but then oh. we didn't, which was really a relief. We yeah. got some things done. I mean, it's just okay. hard to catch good. up, and that was good. I'm glad. But the, the drama of the whole thing is you couldn't get out of the boat. My turn. <laughs> Love to do that. Yes, uh, we, were, we went for a nice pontoon ride. It was so fun. There were, met, uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight of us and the kids. And it was just fun to do it. Uh, but then it came to docking. And there, it was a long step from the pontoon up to the dock. And my sister Mary was the only one there, so she gave me her hand. I don't know what I was thinking. And I tried to get up, but she wasn't strong enough. She just wasn't strong enough to hold me, pull me. So down I went on the dock. You know, every... Wait a every, minute, so the boat's here and you just fell on the dock? Yeah. I'm stepping up to the dock, and she couldn't hold me to pull, and I Lashed. dropped. Oh, yep. no, you, you were all, you're far enough this way, you didn't go back into the boat. Oh, yeah, right. Or in between, which would have Some, been no, hilarious. Yeah. It was quite, <clears throat> I was quite graceful. My wig went one way oh. and I went the other. It was lovely. Well, it, it was too bad there wasn't video. We could have made money on I that. I know. Why doesn't someone would think have been of these great. things? Oh. Well, and not only that, um, I was I just going to say something, something about, about the boat? About the boat falling in, going oh, backwards? Oh, well, every year I've been up there, I have fallen one way or another. They had a real low step. You couldn't even and see it. And she couldn't get up. Well, uh, yeah, well, that year... Won't do the life alert. <laughs> no, no. No, no. It's true. Once, once I'm down, I can't get up because I can't get on my knees. Both knees replaced, and it hurts and I'm not supposed to get on my knees. There's probably some technological, glamorous piece of jewelry that you just push a button now, Mom. And there's or, something that you Or do. if anything, will you do that? Yeah. Oh, she, come she on. Be able, well, Mom, it's just like, I, well, we talked about it. I know, so you're not gonna but I'm to rarely yourself. alone, so, you know, it's just. Takes wants. Okay, well, that's okay. We don't have to talk anyway. about that. So that was your exciting adventure. Yes, and, and this last week was just kind of Relaxing. Okay. I didn't do much of anything. Well, that's good. We've been doing a lot of landscaping things and trying to get. The problem is we want to do the siding, but to do the siding we have to lower the front grade of the yard because it's too high ah. toward the siding. Oh no! So that's a major thing because we have redwood siding and that doesn't rot. So it was fine for all the last 50 years. But if you put any other siding on there, it has to be a certain space between that and the ground. And so oh, that means no. lowering the grade and putting a retaining wall in. And taking all our landscaping and judging oh, and, and it's so beautiful the way it is yeah. really well and then we've we worked cut down, so hard those trees at it. were cut down so now I've got sun a lot of sun 
Oh, is that good or bad? No, because everything was planted to be in the woods. So oh, everything oh, is, oh. is going to die or it has to be transplanted further into the woods. Uh, or I can quickly plant trees, but they won't fill out. So I got a maple tree and I got some redbud trees that will hopefully help so I don't have to dig up everything and move it oh. into the north slope. And so it's, yeah, it's common. Seems like everything you've done has been major, major. Well, Windows it is kind of, and we started with, I, I thought I'd just have to start at the top. So we did the roof, and then we did the north windows, which are beautiful, finally. Yes, they did are. Did a skylight, which didn't work, and it was poorly done, and it's very frustrating, and you think you hire the best, and it was terrible. It's terrible. It's like our house in Redwood when they put the shingles oh. on, and the nails were all coming through. Oh. Nails are coming through. Yes. I can see it. I'm like, I know. I, I couldn't believe that was right. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was, they were, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. So once that's done, then we have the siding. Then once the siding's done, then of course we have to finish the landscaping. So then it's just redoing everything. I mean, it's been, it's 50 years old, but also we, we've been there 20 years this year. And so, Gosh. so it's, the, now the landscaping is totally perfect. It's I mean, beautiful. it's taken 20 years to get exactly how it covers everything up, the neighbors. And now I have to cut things down, and now I'm suddenly seeing things I didn't want to see. And it'll be another 20 years. But we're going to not talk about that, because that's, that's a, that is not that big of a problem. At least we can slowly do it. It just will take a long time. Yes, where some problems are huge. Yes, yes. You like falling and not being able to get up. Like I said, I'm rarely alone, so uh, okay. Don is usually there to Well, I know you won't me. do it on your own. All right, well, we'll worry about that later, right? Okay. We'll worry about that later. Right now. Right now we have to worry about the jacket that she has that I got for her is too short for her. So if anyone needs a 16 petite jacket. <gasps> mm. um, no. It's cute though. Cute it is cute, but it, it's just it's, not. It is too short for, too it's short for, for me. I know that. But oh, I well. have other things. Rob said I looked like I was going to a picnic when I came in today. Oh, you had your, I thought you were going to wear the plaid thing. So. I did wear the plaid blouse. Oh, I thought you were going to wear it with that. I was going oh. to until I put the jacket on this morning and found oh, that it was just too oh, short. Okay. So I just wore the shirt over this that, and I, without the jacket. Do you have a sleeveless long dress that I got you? Is there a sleeveless one or something? I'm wondering why I got that. It had to have gone with something. Well, I suppose that long blue dress you yeah, got me. Yeah, but it has sleeves, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Oh, that's what, that's what it was for. Oh, okay. Because well, there's then nothing I'll you can that. wear that with, unless the white you've worn it with, but it was supposed to if it, try it with that. Okay. Because I think that'll work because it won't be too short if it's all blue. We're going to talk about your neck and how to make it not look so old. 50 How's, years? Do you have, yours is, oh, yours is taut. Yes, that looks taut, good, Mom. Taut, It does look good. Uh, well, Tell them why. Why? Well, partially it's the facelift tape that we have on, and Google it. Well, we've got a link or something. I think they always do that on Amazon. And you know, the, the neck, women's neck doesn't have a, hair and it, it's thinner, whereas men have likely shapes, so it doesn't age as much men's necks as quickly. And if you get jowls, you can cover it up with a beard. This is true, this is true, so that's why, so far from here down, I'm okay. But <laughs> I wanted to talk, well, first of all, in, in, in our mid-40s is when it begins, our, our, our neck begins to shorten and show age, and by the time we hit our 60s, there's no hiding it. If you always had an average neck, it gets shorter, which is one of the things, and so here's some tips from my book Staging Your Comeback, a complete beauty revival for women over 45, which apparently is now... Number one. Yes, it's, a, it, Number it's, one. it's shot up again. I, I got a call from uh, the publisher, which is... It's only been 12 years since I've heard from anyone. You are really doing well. What, what are you doing? I, I said, I don't know, just, I guess, promoting it, and I think Carol's video did it. But, uh, so, it's getting a resurgence, which is nice. But here's some tips if you have a... Short neck, a thick neck, or a double chin. Because even if you have an average neck, but it's thicker or shorter, it looks whiter. And so we're trying to you try to create the line. And I have this challenge when I have makeovers. They're they're slim necessarily, but somehow they're they're thick in through here. One one thing I'll usually do is try to do anything that will kind of slenderize right there, mm -hmm. like turning up mm -hmm. a collar. We'll do it, you know, that, mm -hmm. that helps slenderize. It also draws the eye up. You, you usually turn your collar I up. I do. This one isn't. Over. I can't do it with this, no. but if I'm wearing any kind of a shirt or jacket yeah. that the collar can turn up and stay, I will wear it that, that way. That usually will lift a face and slenderize the neck and it brings a line up and that, that is very flattering. I think it's a throw, throwback from the 50s as well. I love that style. It looks better on you though. I, there's other, it does. It's finding the right material 
but also choose a V-neck. It's the end all be all most land rising. I think most people know that. But the deeper the V this line is, the longer your neck is going to look. I don't line it up because you can't see the back here. Well, here, but the back well, is gray, well, isn't it? Well, it's good it? for TV, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just for the TV. I'm good for TV. No, you did it too much. Oh, sorry. There. I like that. Thank you. Anyway, also, you want to, or I'm on this right here, page 90. Okay. You want to, see, I did this one, you do that one. Avoid a turtleneck like plague, especially if you have a double chin. A turtleneck is not going to conceal anything. It simply pushes the flesh up toward your face like toothpaste from a tube. It's my writing. It's not you. Yeah. Wear a mock turtleneck instead. So, ba you know, people all tell you, I've got a thick neck. They try to wear a turtleneck, and they try, to, but it doesn't. It just shortens it. And, and so the more you can open it, the longer your neck's going to look. I remember uh, one evening I was doing some public speaking. I can't remember the situation now. And the one lady in the back stood up, and she said, well, what if you've got a long turkey-looking neck? How do you, what are you supposed to do with that? And I did suggest turtlenecks. I said it's going to push up a bit, but it it might cover what you need to cover. You know, it doesn't we're, we're work going for to everybody. Long necks next, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry. You skipped we're, ahead. Oh. First, we're talking Not short necks, me. then long necks, but that's okay. Short necks. Okay, short necks. Well, anyway, so never wear a choker. Choker cuts off the line. And remember, the eye follows the line. Horizontals add heft. A choker will make your neck look wider and thicker. Avoid mm -hmm. chunky neckwear, anything that's chunky. Stiff scarves, they're, they're going to, again, do that. Uh, choose necklaces that create a V, like a pendant or something. That's going to elongate. Can I demonstrate that? Yes, you can, if it's within Well, this. For, if you have a short oh, neck, yeah. for instance, and you wear a, a necklace that stops about here, yeah. that's where the eye will stop. You'll lose the effect of the V because anything here, even a small pendant can do it. It will stop the eye rather than allow the V to give you the length you need. And round adds pounds. And round adds pounds. So this would be good for someone who had a long neck. Yes, yes. Such as, uh, such as I. Perfect. Ooh, I feel like it could <laughs> Indian or something. Then, of course, this one isn't quite as long, but at least wear it kind of to follow the V Whoa. or long. What are you doing? Doing an Indian chant. Oh. <laughs> I have that. I have that uh, V, that thing you bought me at uh, Pride one year. But see, if it goes, follows the V, don't hook it, just let okay. it go down right. a little right. bit. Well, I'll hold it, I'll demo mom's All right. Okay. But it's better going, following the V. Remember the mic. Yeah, Oh. Right. Follow the You get it. Follow the V. <laughs> follow the V. Open but it up. This action looks, on you, it looked better like this. Yeah, but for I like someone it else, like that. it would be better like that, yes. Yeah. And if you could, just know this, that if you have a short neck, also something longer is better, but you have to, be aware of your vertical body type. If you have a real long body to begin with and short legs, probably a long thing isn't going to be your best bet. However... Are you going to confuse things? Yes. Just keeping it on the necks, Mom. Just focus I'm, on I'm the I'm talking neck. about the neck. Anyway, elongating. Also, if you have good boobs and you're wearing something long, it's going to be over one boob we'll or the other. We'll talk about boobs next week, but right okay. now we're talking about necks. Uh, necks. Okay. I know once you get in your loop. However, <gasps> Choose a soft collar that lies flat rather than a stand-up collar. So like this kind of thing, something, you know, it's a softer collar so it lies flat rather than up. So that was for, now you can talk about long Or legs. like, a, just a minute, or like a man's dress shirt or button-down collar for a woman. It, it stands higher on your neck. If you have a thicker neck, that's not ideal. You want that's a collar not. that lies flat. Yeah, and that's the challenge. You've got to figure that out. That's why I'm, I'm often zhuzhing people to try to create the right line, depending on the neck. I have a really long neck, so I, I can speak to that easily. I wear only turtlenecks or custom-made collars or a collar turned up because I, I can't wear a crew neck. I mean, and also, after a certain age, I think, on men, you're all wrinkly, and it's not an attractive thing. Women just, the same. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything for you when you well, just got to cut right Well, generally, crew necks, I don't think are especially attractive anyway, but they're tough. But uh, like t-shirts, a lot of women wear them to work out. Look for the V t-shirt, the V-neck. 
I was, I was thinking about when we were talking about, we're going to next talk about if your neck is very long and thin. It's a, a lot of people say that's an attribute, and I remember Kathy Lee when I was on the Today Show, and it still bugs me a little bit because she was playing devil's advocate, and I only had a few minutes to get my points out. And she kept kind of trying to yes. throw a different side, and, and was I was demonstrating pain. on one of my models who had a long, skinny neck, um, and we put a scarf on, you know, and softened the neck. Well, oh, get rid of the scarf, get rid of the scarf. I like it, it much better without. Yeah, that kind of thing, and, they, and, and I was like, okay. I went up there, I took the scarf off, and it was just turkey walk. I mean, it wasn't, yes, maybe that kind of scarf wasn't fashionable at the time, that wasn't the point. However, yes, it did soften all that, and yes. you could see, and, and the show was much better, and I'm like, anyone, go to Christopher Hopkins on the Today Show, <laughs> and you'll see that little moment where I'm like, when, when, it, when she walked As out and I took that off. looks wonderful. Well, and, and so it was, they were, she was just trying to make it interesting, yeah, but it was not helping me at the time. No. So, and I was right, it, when I took that scarf off, it didn't look as good. One of the things I feel Sometimes with I'm a right. long neck, and a lot of women love to have this long swan-like neck, yeah, that's and that's beautiful. My thought is, gee, you have a whole lot more to decorate yes. when you have a long neck. Whereas short necks, we can't do that as much. Well, and also, it's yeah. the aging long, thin neck. It, it, oh, yeah, it's that, less swan-like and more, you know. Wrinkly. Crane, yeah. Mm, yes, I'm afraid that's true. It's true. So that's why scarves and jewelry and things that, you know, because the, the whole point of everything is to draw attention to your eye, to your face. And if, if, if your eye stops down there, same with hairstyles. Uh, that's why this is better, you know, this kind of will lift a neck. Um, and then sometimes, some people will look good with the longer hair that camouflage, like an inverted bob that yes. can slenderize. Yes. But, uh, yeah, I'm often ending up somewhere in here because once it goes longer than that, it, it, you just look down at the neck. You know, the, it, you just also you just have to remember, V-necks are great to open you up. But then as we age, some of us—not me, of course—no, some of us have a little. Oh, oh, gotta watch out for the microphone. Uh -oh. Yeah, I told you how many times, Joey. I know. I, I did it. He did it. Okay. So I just her V was off. Anyway, the décolleté here is not always gorgeous. I'm just laughing to myself. <laughs> no. However, the right makeup can help that a little bit. We're staying on next. Oh, next, next, <sighs> yes. Well, that's what I was talking about. That's okay. part of you're, my you're, neck. You're, you're heading to decollete. <laughs> decollete, okay. Turtlenecks, so. Turtlenecks, so I love them. You can do these. Wear turtlenecks, yeah, I love Yeah, turn your them. collar up. That, then you yep. should turn your collar and up. And button-down collars ride higher, as I mentioned. Choker is your friend. I love chokers. I don't have a long neck, but I still wear them on occasion. Short, stiff scarves. I always think of that when I was in high school. We did the jeans and the cute shirt tucked in and belted, and then you had a stiff scarf. I like that look that comes in. Yeah, and it's sort of Western Grease. look also. Yeah. Uh, texture, wear chunky jewelry, fur collars, feathers, whatever it might be to give you texture and Victorian kind of collars. I kind. love Victorian, of course, always. Uh, let's see what else. I'm going to get, say the best necklines for oh, a, for long, a neck. long neck, notched collar. Which is, you know, that you can button up to the top or leave open, and generally you want to leave it open to give you that. Or for, I'm talking long necks now. I'm sorry, long neck. That reminds me know, of Mom. land before time. I know. Oh yeah, <laughs> the land of the long necks. Yeah. Convertible collar, button up or leave open, cowl, Peter Pan, turtleneck, mandarin, and funnel. Funnel being more of a high fashion look that stands high, but it stands away, usually in a jacket or a coat or something. Cowl works for also short necks. An oval scoop, a V, square, strapless does work well for long neck. We're talking any woman, not just older, so yes. some people can wear strapless. Yes, yes. So that was about as far as, as next things go, because I wanted to just focus on next, but there's other things you can do, um, cosmetically wise. So, oh, yes. of course, there's the neck lift, which you have done, and... You have done. I, well, not More to myself. Me. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I, I bought that neck. And he then, bought this neck, uh, neck, what, 30 years ago? Almost, because you turn... 81 on the 21st, right? Mm -hmm. So do you know that you're 21, 21, there's only the first third of the, the century is when we can all have our birthday as a year. So like 20, 21st on the 20, 21, year, 2021, 
birthday's on the 21st. 2022, birthday's on the 22nd. Oh, yes. Up that's the only 31. way I know. So, if, so until 2031, after that, it's going to be another 70 years where people will <gasps> never be able to have their birthday. Gosh. Their birthday day, the of same that. as the year. So I have at my 60th, I'll be 24, 24. Huh. I never would have thought of that. I, d I don't know. I just don't. That, but that is the only way I can remember for sure how old I am. So 20, 81 you'll be. Yeah. Amazing. Well, it is kind of. I think it's, it's always amazing. It seems like every year is amazing. It is. So cosmetic surgery, of course, the neck lift. Yes. But there are lots of cosmetic things you can do. And I, asked, I wanted you to print that thing off for Valerie, but you didn't, did you? Do you have it on your phone? See, I had a thing for, I go to a, a woman named Valerie Argo, Dr. Argo at Luminous U, and she gave me some tips that I was going to print off at my home, but then I had them sent them to Robert to have them print off. It's too late, Rob. I'll just try to remember by the time you get back. Anyway, what were her tips? Well, I'm trying to remember now because that was supposed to see. You're I young. You should be. Well, I should, should except that I'm to... doing all this too much. Oh. But I can. I can just focus I'm on that. I'm distracting him. You're a little bit. So there's creams, retinoids, retinol. We have a link actually in this description of a, of a good cream. I think it's, well, you'll have to look it up. It's rough. I'll use that, but does that print it off? Oh, okay, I'll try that. All right, this is according to Dr. Valerie Argo from Luminous U in St. Paul, Minnesota. She recommends, well, she, t she also explained that the, the face has more supportive tissue than the neck, so you should really start working on your neck first, doing treatments and everything on your neck oh. first. So that people are always worried about their face, but the, since the skin is thinner there, and you, know, you might get, you usually get this white line here and then age damage because of the sun hitting that. So starting moisturizer, sunscreen, the, the things you would do for your face. So actually- Start on your neck yeah, first, your, okay. And we, we don't think of that, right? You, no. you focus on your face and then, and even a young, young woman will have neck wrinkles. I remember when Carrie Eikers, <laughs> she was, poor thing, she was like probably 22, 23. And you know, she's like, this didn't apply to me. And I'm like, well, you have two horizontal lines they're only going to get worse, you know. Mm -hmm. Traumatized her, but it's the true. Good, the good thing is she has a really sharp neck, so it's going to go away really fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, you're, you're going to, the neck I would worry about. Um, but the neck actually needs more attention, but is often more ignored, and that's why you'll see women, they look good, and then you'll notice the neck. That's why we want the neck to kind of go with all that. When I did laser treatments, I went all the way down my neck to my décolleté to get rid of all the red and the brown. To your what? To décolleté. Décolletage. I Décolletage. Just wanted, I just wanted to make sure Décolleté. we got that correct. Décolleté is the actual chest. Décolletage is the frame. So a décolletage dress, something like that, I think. Anyway. Close enough. That, so pay attention to that. So you can use retinoids. You can use um, zinc in sun, sunscreen. And you mm -hmm. can put extra there. So that's, I never do it. I'm sorry, Valerie. I don't use sunscreen. She gets mad at me, but I don't. It makes you shiny. But she's got something that doesn't have something shiny in it, whatever. So more sunscreen on the neck. Uh, whatever products you use in your face include your neck. Start to treat professionally on your neck even before you start to treat your face. And she has a neck rejuvenation pa package. So we did put a link for Dr. Valerie Argo in our description and you can go there and I think you can even get a consultation and it, it will explain what they do and usually the same things you do for your neck uh, lasers that remove redness mm -hmm. lasers that remove brown lasers that will tighten you know like uh, and Kybella I think will tighten too it's a process uh, look it up because I don't want to get in trouble with saying the wrong thing uh, and yeah we want to get rid of the hyperpigmentation the redness and the lines and the sagging. There are treatments that will do that. Also, neck tape. You can grab any tape, get some duct tape, put it here, put it there, stretch it. Um, a jaw clamp. A what? A, like one of those big jaw clamps. Oh, yeah. And when you're taking pictures with your family, you just, you, you, oh yeah, that'll, that's the, put your head straight forward, chin on a platter and that will lift so you don't get a double chin. But usually what I do is like, you put your, look in the mirror, like we're gonna take our picture. Just grab behind the neck there. Uh -huh. There, look at how smooth it is. So you just, do, mm. if you've got your wife and she's looking a little, just like, hi honey, we're gonna take our picture. <laughs> it oh, works, okay. right? Yes, of course. So those and are by the way, if you are on Facebook at all, there are, and I don't know how effective any of these things are, but there are things every day showing you how to 
work with your face and your neck and all these things to get rid of wrinkles and I don't know how neck effective I just never do them. I, I, just, I thought I, I'm I not going to go. I know. There yeah. are so many things and you just don't know if they're really effective or not. Mainly what we know about is, you know, the scarves and jewelry and what they do and draw attention and smoothing and and I, makeup. And makeup. Bring your makeup all the way down. I think people stop there. It, it needs to, like, you've got makeup all, everything is made up. All the up. way down. Yeah. I've used just my regular face powder, and mm -hmm. I use it here because it has very good coverage. Well, and it looks, I mean, it, it looks it, pretty it, natural. It looks, it looks like you don't have flaws, really. I mean, you look very youthful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's all illusion. It's all illusion, yes. Uh, what else? Would I don't you, know. What else do you want to talk about? I don't know. You got new glasses. I got new glasses, yes. I like those. Are they reflecting a lot too much? I wore Not too them. bad. Mine Not are, too bad. kind of. Are they? It's, <laughs> um, I haven't even looked at myself, but, um, yeah. Can't I, believe that. Well, I'm, I'm looking at you. Oh, oh, cute. What else Good. do you want to talk about, Mom? Well, I, we can't talk about your aches and pains, because that you oh, don't no, want to talk no, about. No. Talked about my landscaping, and we talked about, um, Questions. We usually we have questions if people have them. I'm um, asked. Nobody has any answers. No yet, questions. Except for what's the best eye cream and that sort of stuff. Uh, that it's hard for me to recommend. So I, I did put something on the site for you to link for for neck cream, Strivectin, which really is great reviews and it has the retinoids and it has the, all the things that you can use. You know there are products out there, uh, of course, for neck, but it's the same things that you would do for your face technically. It's not just neck cream, but they try to sell you different I remember things for different when parts. When you first opened your first salon, um, one of the things you gave me and said, Mom, please use this every day. It was vitamin C oh, yeah. serum. Uh, and that I did for a while, but then like you, I kind of yeah. goes they do, by the way. If you use them, they work. The vitamin C, retin-A, the A, C, and moisturizer to me is a temporary thing. I, I'm not a skincare expert, so all you skincare experts who think you know what you're talking about, even though you're reading the same books I did and went to the same school I did, never mind. Um, <laughs> moisturizer is temporary, so to me, that's that that makes it through the day. It's yeah. things that are going to actually do something to the skin and that that, that exfoliate that's going to make a difference, in my opinion. Well, there's a question: What makeup does Joanne use? That's good. She does not use anything. If you've seen her face in any advertisement with our video. She would never use it, has never used it. It's some Chinese company stealing her image. Yes. Actually, what I do use is Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and Estee Lauder Double Wear Pebble uh, powder. 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 Now, one is shell beige, I think, and the other is, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But, but anyway, they're both very good coverage. And I don't, I, you know, I'm old. I have lines. I haven't noticed really that it sinks into the lines no, too much, do you no, think? No, I, that's one thing people concern themselves with. And to me, I, I, better coverage is generally going to look better than yes, worrying yes. about settling the lines. Because people don't generally see lines unless you're like that. And, but and they my will 10 see times magnifying mirror does show a little, but it, doesn't, it just shows the lines. It doesn't show the makeup settling in the lines. Jenny Eckhart, my cousin, who I working on her other video came in and she, she never wears foundation but she wore it that day for the thing it made such a difference oh of course it does if you've got the right foundation now per, uh, personally I don't care for anything shiny or greasy looking everything has to be matte for me and I think the older you get the better off you are with matte now this the powder is all I used here and it covers. Did you use bronzer well, too, or you just no, just, 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 the, just powder. the powder? Did that? That's just a nice color. Did face, you put anything well, here? My face powder. No. You know what I mean? It's makeup on your hands. No. But we will often use um, Sally Hansen leg spray or a leg yes. leg makeup. Airbrush it legs. Doesn't rub off as much. Um, uh, yeah, that's true. But uh, I I did use your... that on my legs, bottom part of my legs. Okay. Sally Hansen airbrush legs, just because. I was wearing white ankle pants and I needed a little color yeah, there yeah. to make it work. That's How old are you, Joanne? <laughs> On Tuesday, I will be 81. 81 years. She's old, old as death. I am. Uh -huh. I'm not ready to go yet. <laughs> well, so. I hope not. <laughs> if you could just stop the pain, that would just be so Oh, well, that just goes with it, you know. Well. We have one minute, so what we it should maybe do? It just goes with us. Should we sing the song? Do you think we can remember it? Do you think? No. You I, remember I, it. I can't remember it, it all. I think so. 
Well, a friend, a friend of ours now, um, Marilyn Moore, who is a big fan, she wrote this little tune, and we try to sing it at the end because maybe I'll record it. But okay. she just sent it ahead. She just sent that, so we sing it to the tune of Make Making Whoopi. Whoopi. You, you start. <coughs> just, I'll, I want to start lower, personally, for go you. Start lower. Just go ahead. Is that no? Just go ahead. Just go ahead and, and think, think the think. think. It, it keeps, keeps you young, young and on, on the brink of aging backwards. backwards. Those magic act words, it's all illusion. Da 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 da. Start Try pushing, pushing down the rising doubt as one by one your parts, parts give out. If flesh is willing, give it top billing. Create, create illusion. Maybe I, da, 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 da. I say you are entitled, live your life as you please, cover the spots and wrinkles, then give your wig a tease, apply the fixes, you know them all, for you the trick is to have a ball, live every minute, it's your world, spin it. It's, it's all illusion. illusion. You know what, Mom? What? You need to start it in the key because I think you have muscle memory of the key you sing it in. If I Probably. change it slightly, you, you can't, I think you just know where to hit those notes. Well, my light, my voice is very raspy anyway. No. Today it's really bad. I even recorded voice. I knew you wouldn't do it, but I was going to give you warm-ups and things because the human voice can, the speaking voice can be. I know. Um, speaking voice is crucial. Did you see I that face? Do that face again, Mom. Which one? The one where you're pouting and frowning. Yeah, she's not going to do it. Well, uh, I had the it. most magnificent <laughs> instructor in high school for voice and um, diction and all that good stuff. Yeah, you did. I learned a lot, and I also learned how to lower my voice so I don't sound like a little chicky answering the phone. Oh, my gosh, everyone's voice on television. I cannot stand it. Uh, I cannot stand it. I cannot stand it. Any advertisement, anyone... I picked up the phone, someone left me a message, I wish I had my thing, I just thought, uh, no one has vocal training, they do, They should teach, well, you need to learn how to say, speak. When they say, what's her name, Mary to Humphrey Bogart, Lauren Bacall, oh, went scream? out in the hillside and screamed and screamed and screamed till her voice got lower. Even poor Elizabeth Taylor had that little tiny voice that didn't go with the yeah, rest of her. Yeah, so much, and so many receptionists answer the phone, and you just want to hang up on them. It's not this, hello, this is it. Uh, it's... And then Good vocal afternoon. fry up. Yeah. What is it? Grammarly. There's a what, whatever. There was some ad that always came up and it was the same woman. And it is a younger, and I wonder if that's just what appeals to a younger market. If it sounds like their friends, nasal and. You gotta be pitch. happy. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, but that was off topic. We'll talk anyway. about, but you can, but it also, it's important as your voice, it, as any vocal teacher, singer knows, if you're not connecting all these muscles connect correctly, it is a muscle, some are gonna decline, and when you want to sing a song, you can't because you can only do this. I can only and speak this true. way. Or I can only speak this way. Because I used to be able to sing, believe yeah. it or not. Yeah, no, you I can. did sing you at one warm time. Up and I, We've got to do it, Mom, because I know you can. I've heard you do it. It's just we don't have the time. It's anyway, thank you so much and for she's being got with us this and afternoon. And and she's many, 81. Many birthday wishes are sent your way. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. you. I, I love, love it. You. And by the way, I have my cards from last year, and I have reread them, and I will do it again this winter. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, that was nice. That would yes. do for your 80th birthday. Perfect. I put a little thing, and people sent you. That yes, was really nice. yes, and I still have Lori them. Michaels. Thank you, Lori Michaels, for what? Donating. Oh, oh thank you thank for donating. You, Lori. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, that's the important thing. That's like what and us. subscribe. Actually, it's a birthday gift for Joanne. Oh, how lovely. Thank you. Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> well, wait. <laughs> next lots week. and wait, lots. Next, we'll do it next week. It's mom's birthday. <laughs> Donate. Yeah, that would be good. Well, next good. week we don't have a, 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 we don't have a, a live stream. Oh, yay. So it would probably be two weeks. That okay, we're good. So we're, we can't do every Friday because I, it's funny that I used to, you know, we'd be upset when there wasn't a client. We didn't yeah. have any money. And I'm like, yay, I can get something done. And get caught up on the video. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's exhausting. Well, that's, how do we end it? We'd, we say good night. Say good night. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good night. Well, good morning. Good night, Dick. Good night. Is that it? Good night, say Dick. Good night. Laugh in. What, yeah, what was his name? Dick and Martin. No, no, no. Rowan no. and Martin. 
Dick, Dick Martin, Martin and Rowan. Whatever. Well, his last name was Rowan. I love you, you Christopher. You say goodnight, Dick, right? Remember, that's <laughs> yes. what it was. I like, say goodnight, Dick. I do everything.